Happy New Year to Julian. Hello, Julian. Hello. How Hello. are you? Oh, t uh, incredibly well. Do you do New Year? I mean, are, are you on the pagan calendar? Um, do you know what? When the year comes to a close, I sink into a mystery and allow it to just... Yeah. In, ...enfold me for as long as I can take. Weeks will do me. You've got to be on the Julian calendar, surely. Oh, I am a calendar. Cool, you are a calendar. <laughs> Wasn't that a big trouble when we changed to the Julian calendar and all oh, those people said, give us back our 11 days or our 13 days? Is that, that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what? My my mother wanted a, um, a son called Julian from the age of eight. She declared it to her parents. Really? Yeah. That's and, fantastic. Well, you know, she was living in the Welsh Valleys and all of her, f her family all spoke like that. <laughs> and suddenly they were going to be uh, somebody called Julian. That's wonderful. So wow. that's why I'm terribly So well you were predestined? Predestined from, so from 1938. Right. Gosh. Yeah. Scary, eh? All so, things well, shake up. Yeah, all things well with you. Um, everything is... I, can I just be a bit kind of um, yeah. open-mouthed with how good I am? <laughs> um, because last year I was on trial. In, were you? Yeah, I was on trial um, in Salisbury. I'm can't, I'll have to be a bit coy. OK. But I was found so not guilty... Excellent. ..that the world is just this incredible, oh, ever-unfolding place. Well, fabulous. Well, that's that's tantalising, isn't it? Tantalising, <laughs> well, but for now we will just say, <laughs> well done, congratulations. Oh, I, I wrote a song too late for this album because the judge liked me so much called I Know What It's Like To Be Believed. Great. <laughs> we and should, it's catchy. Will we'll that story come out, then? Oh, do you know what? Not I'm now. a garrulous sod, not, aren't not, I? But yeah, yeah. But, but, yeah, it's a bit early. Yeah, OK. I no, OK. We, well, look, we'll talk we've a talked lot about each other a long while, so you will find out. Right, we will, OK. We'll talk more about the album Self Civil War, which is marvellous. We'll talk more on play tracks from Self Civil War oh, in so a good. moment or two. You, 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 we've I'm asked so you, glad you like it. Oh, oh love, yeah, it. love it. Love it. Yeah. That, we, um, we've also asked you for some <laughs> records that you, you like or mean a little to you. What, mm. what, tell us, set this up, Julian. Pro Col Harem, Toujours l'amour. Perfect song that summed up that period when the 60s dream had to be enacted and lived in order to see if it worked. So he's road testing it with his girlfriend and it's like they've got some you know, lovely decor, they're all you know, shopping at Habitat and everything, and then she just leaves. So he's like, well, do I kill myself now? Well, do I go to... Sp and I really like it because it really sums that up. And it's also a typical B.J. Wilson drum fest. Yeah. Great stuff. Pro Col Harem, toujours l'amour. Julian, you, you, <coughs> you mentioned B.J. Wilson. Have you, did you, have you ever seen him play? Did he oh, say... man, I'm obsessed with that guy. The octopus in the bath, they called him, because he sat oh. really low behind the drums, didn't yeah, he? And yeah. he, he was Jimmy Page's first choice for Led Zeppelin, B.J. Uh, Wilson. He, he, and, he, and he plays... Uh, he played the drums on um, Joe Cocker, uh, Little Help From My Friends. Right, yeah. I mean, to me, he vies with Bill Ward of Sabbath for, oh. you know, the throwing the, the fills that sound like somebody throwing Bibles at a sofa. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Fantastic. Yeah. Chosen by um, Julian. Julian has a new album out next week called Self Civil War. Um, which takes it that that lyric is taken from a very old poem, isn't it, Julian? I just couldn't believe that it, this poem I found from just before the English Civil War, um, written by a um, uh, a preacher in Grindleton, uh, not far away from you. No. Um, and uh, it was so summing up what the Britain has been going through, and I think what the uh, the world is going yeah. through. You know, nothing is quite enough. Um, you know, if you're a vegetarian, should you be a vegan? Is that enough? If you're going to be this, is that enough? Are you doing anything? Yeah. And yeah. that's what I love about that poem, because it even says, you know, he doesn't believe himself a jot. A jot. It sounds so modern. Yeah, yeah. We're going to play a track now, the title of which... Well, this is a, this is a title and a track. I've been knocking around for some time, I think, isn't it? Your Facebook, My Laptop. Oh, I know, man. I declared that to you about 2016. Yes, you did. But I'm working in vast Mayan cycles of time. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, so we've long awaited... Uh, we've long awaited this. The, the title has been out there in the ether, and we've... Uh, devotees of Julian have been waiting for the track, and now we have it. From Self Civil War, this is Julian Cole. We're going to talk lots more after the news. This is Self Civil War's uh, track called Your Facebook, My Laptop.
Something made of plastic Eventually, you're trending, you said, Julian. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful stuff. Your Facebook, my laptop, Julian Cope from Self Civil War. And the Mellotron's uh, getting a good outing throughout this record, I'm glad oh, to see. Oh, man, I'm the Johnny Ramona Mellotron. You are. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. And, and you don't want a song that you declared years ago to be a dwindler, do you? No. So it's at least it's a catchy one. <laughs> it is. A dwindler. It it's is. A, it's I was going to say, say typical of the album, but it's, it would be hard to say what is typical of the yes, album, it which we'll go into. We in, in the next half hour. We will also talk about the fact that even more exciting than there being, if that can be true, than there being a new Julian record uh, earlier next week, in February, you can catch Julian live in Edinburgh, London, Glasgow, Liverpool and Sheffield. Fantastic. That's oh, exciting. Yeah. yeah. We shall talk more uh, about that, Julian, after the news. That was your Facebook, my laptop. It comes from Self Civil War. Uh, there will be uh, much more from Julian, um, as I say, in the final half hour of the uh, programme. <laughs> What a record, a record from an album St. Julian that was my almost constant companion for that year. What a great record that is. If you don't know Julian's music, when you've bought Self Civil War and are investigating his extensive and wonderful back catalogue, do investigate St. Julian. Is it, is it a favourite of yours still, Julian? Yeah, I like that album because it's about something deep. Right. And Were you singing along there? For a bit? Well, I was not only singing along, but I was reminding Dorian that I got the whole rhythm from I Can Help by Billy Swan. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I can hear that. Well, yeah. that's very honest of you. I can hear yeah. that now. Is Dorian there with you? Yeah, she's sitting oh, there. Oh, happy new year, Dorian. <laughs> yeah, 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 I was going to say, I'd love to Dorian and Albany and Avalon. And happy new yeah. year to you all. Oh, she's waving. Oh, oh great. that's good. Yeah, um, man. Jules on the wheel says, thank you so much for bringing us Julian Cope this morning. I'm having to spend the morning cleaning out my kitchen cupboards of mouse poo because we've discovered an infestation, so it's right. keeping me well entertained. Hey, can so, I quickly uh, that's say... That's good to know. Tell them there's a, w a Wirral lyric on the new album. Is there? Yeah, yeah. I discovered an ancient Viking lore mound on the Wirral. Right. Um, uh, in Thingwall. The name of the village is called Thingwall, named after the mound which has now been long lost. Right, um, OK. But it's a lyric about, um, yeah, there's a cosmic song called You Will Be Missed. Oh, that's a great song. That is yeah. a great song. Um, Thingwall, so that's a that would be a parliament, wouldn't it? Wasn't a thing like a meeting, that's a parliament? That's right, yeah, like the Tinwald Hill. Yeah. Yeah, like Dingwall's in... Um, it's the same... Um, yeah. It's the same provenance of the word. 
Um, and I found it. So, yeah, tell Jules on the world that he's living very close to uh, the law. Right. Do you, are you still are you still stomping out in the field researching and that sort of stuff? Mm, of course, I am the yeah. king of stomping. <laughs> 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 but there, there are, I mean, you know, the kind of uh, the, the lyrical subjects here range far and wide, don't they? You've mentioned one there. We've got one about Einstein. We've got Einstein. Everybody. I mean, I tell you what, what it was with yeah. Einstein. Well, I was thinking how cosmic all my all my heroes really were. And then I was thinking that they seemed like comparative uh, uh, ocean bottom crawlers compared to Einstein. Yeah. Because as a nine-year-old, he used to imagine that he was riding on a beam of light. Now you imagine like he's just in the he's just discovered like you know relativity. Yeah. He wants to go down the pub and have some scratchings in the pint and tell everybody. Yeah. And yeah. everybody just doesn't get it. And if you want to hear the, can I just say, if you want to hear the full seven minutes of Einstein, uh, if you've not bought it, uh, you play, I'm playing it on the Freak Zone oh, it's in, a great track. in a couple Thank of Sundays' you. time. It is Thank a great track. And also, is, is, is it the only song thus recorded about the VW emissions scandal? Yeah. Is there, has there been another one? The Berlin Facelift. The Berlin Facelift, it was just begging to be uh, written because I just thought they're so... Cheeky, those Germans, you know, <laughs> pointing fingers at the Greeks and all this. <laughs> you know, we, we won't mention, uh, you know, foul V as they call VW. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Okay. I mean, it's an extraordinary record, this. I mean, it's, uh, you know, I was thinking at one point, it sounds like Gong and the Ground Dogs with meeting the Beach Boys if they'd let Charles Manson join. I mean, it's a kind of <laughs> sprawling Every, epic. Everybody isn't you it? just mentioned has balls. Wow. Right. Oh, there you go. <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? It's really funny. And, and I was mentioning this to my. To my daughter Albany recently, because she was saying about you know prog being all boys. Yeah. And I said, well, I went to see Gong three times because there were lots of very pretty women there, and they were quite posh. That's true. So you know they had there was appeal to be had. That's true. It's also a big. It's kind of a big sprawling record, and you've you've in a sense because you like a sprawling record. I mean, oh, Peggy yeah. Suicide was a big. You know, you, you yeah. like those things, don't you? Yeah. I thought it was really important to consider the sheer volume of discontent yeah. in, in, in people's lives. Um, and as I say, I, I am living... I'll never, I'll never get over the t summer of 2019 right. because I know what it's like to be believed. Right, great. We, we're still fascinated by it. Great. I mean, it's also so, a very, very much a solo record. I mean, you've got a bit of help from someone on a, bit of, a couple of guitar solos and a bit of uh, percussive help, but you've played most of this yourself, which, which some of the tracks are kind of, you know, very long. I mean, that must be quite an undertaking to do it all. You played all yourself. You're like a pagan Mike Oldfield. Uh, yeah. Yes, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what was really funny. I had to relearn to play certain things, like some of the bass. I was like, I won't be able to play that. Right. I was and I'm, but I'm a good bass player, but old. And then I just kind of got myself into it, and I'd come into the session having learned a part. You are a good bass You say, I remember, I remember seeing you as a kid, watching you in the Tidup Explodes, early Tidup Explodes shows in Ericsson, places like that, and thinking, oh, that bloke can sing and play the bass at the same time, which is quite hard. I was the anti John Jack Burnell. Right. Because <laughs> John Jack Burnell would be playing fussy, fussy, fussy until it came to singing, and then it'd be like sub yes. vicious. Yeah, <laughs> so I'm, not, I'm going to play the bass line to Sleeping Gas and sing. Uh, another thing is about about the record. Is your, your vocals, um, uh, you record them sort of without reverb, don't you? So I like that because it's like it's you, it's like you're talking. You're like you're inside our heads. But that's an that's obviously an intentional stylistic thing. I don't want to compete, but I don't want to be unlistenable. Right, that's so interesting. I figured people know my voice well enough yeah. that if they find, well, it's a bit much. If you listen to a lot of singers, they're really quite in your head. Yeah. Um, and I sing very quietly and close to the mic when I'm, you know, certain vocals. Yeah. Um, I think there's this kind of strange belief with singers. Oh, you know what? I wasn't a very good singer 35 years ago. I'll redo the vocals. Yeah. It's like, but there was a charm that yes. you utterly lost. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Tell us about Immortal. We're going to oh, play Immortal. I love this because, you know, what? as you would hope from a new Julian Cope album, there is a, without in, encouraging people into anything like the lifestyle choices, that, uh, that are to the, that, <laughs> there, there are quite a lot of uh, drug references scattered throughout, aren't there? And there's more than a few in this song. Well, I believe that we come from a culture 
of showing off to girls. <laughs> um, and um, obviously, you know, it really comes down to I can take more than that guy you used to go out with. <laughs> Um, and it's always been validated by my mother-in-law's relationship with my father-in-law, because very early on, I realised that him being Hungarian-American, he was very much of the show-off culture, as evidenced by him doing a handstand on the outer <laughs> rail of the Tribra Bridge in New York. Wow. Wow. And wow. she took the photo, and so I figured, I'm going to write a song in that vein. Here it is, Immortal, Julian Cope. Sipping psilocybin by the side of the river 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 Immortal, 
Julian Cope from the album Self Civil War. Uh, lovely to hear Julian this morning. We named our third daughter Charlotte Ann after his song, and she is now a professional musician. Uh, this is just beautiful, says uh, Cy in Bolton, and Dave in Epping says, so Saw Julian and the Teardrops supporting Iggy Pop at the Electric Ballroom in 1980. I was at the front and gave him a lot of verbal. He didn't respond. I'd like to humbly apologise and say I've since purchased all his back catalogue. So, you know. <laughs> and Trevor in Brixham, my first ever gig, age 14, was Teardrop Explode. Aylesbury Friars, 25th of Jan, 1982. That's such a beautiful song, that, Julian. Thank you. I love that so, so much. And uh, Silas Simon is a great word to get so, in. And when I was listening to it, I thought, this is so lovely. Um, but also, what you don't get very often, when it got to the line of, I have a snort of powder in your handbag, I burst out laughing as well, <laughs> which I loved Rob, so much. Robin Birmingham is also saying, can you tell, ask him to tell Dorian? I would absolutely <laughs> concur with this. Her Twitter account is a thing of joy. If you don't follow her, you should. She finds the most amazing music clips. Yes, she does. So oh, do she's look, delighted. Do she's look out for Dorian Cope on Twitter, because she does post fantastic sort of vintage, Brilliant rock clips from... Uh, it, it, they're wonderful, anyway, so do follow Dory. Um, so many great things on this album, though. So do, uh, Requiem for a Dead Horse, I particularly like, as well. Can we just mention these live shows? So, you are... I'm just trying to find the gigs now. Again, here we go. You're playing Saturday the 8th of Feb, Barbican. Saturday the 15th, Edinburgh, United Kingdom. Hobbs. 16th of Feb, Glasgow. 23rd, the East Village Arts Club in Liverpool. And then Saturday the 29th of February, uh, the Lead Mill. So, are these band shows or solo shows? What are you doing, These are solo Jules? shows. I'm going to be... They're on Facebook um, and on the Head Heritage website. Um, I'm on tour, on and off, for six weeks, really. There's 17 dates. Oh, really? Right. These, yeah. Well, I'll investigate the others. I'm doing two shows in Manchester. How are you? I tell you what, Mark. Yeah. You as a drummer, right? Yes. This B.J. Wilson thing, we need to discuss it because I totally copped B.J. Wilson obsessiveness for the drum, drum bits on Immortal. So right. if I'm doing right. two yeah, no, shows... there is a real big break there that sounds like B.J. Wilson, yeah. Well, maybe we need to have a head-to-head -head about, you know, um, some kind of um, uh, uh, drum essay. We can do that. We can do that. It'd be lovely well, to see you. As yeah. always, of course. Investigate Head Heritage, not just because you can pick up all of Julian's dates on it, but because it is a brilliant website and resource oh, for, for, thank you, sir. for, the, for that, a world of arcane and brilliant music. Mm -hmm. Tell us about the Sutherland Brothers and sailing, Julian. Well, I've got a weird... There's a, our house is long and thin and very narrow and east-west facing. And on the east, there's a... At the east end, there's a Rod Stewart obsession going on. Right. Right? My eldest daughter loves legs. Right. And all that kind of stuff. Wow. And she micro-obsesses on Rod's video because she's convinced he's a vulnerable adult. <laughs> In the west, in the far west, is my recording studio, in which Rod is a venerable ancient, um, a bringer and purveyor of bringing out of the shadows great <coughs> songs that weren't yet known. Um, so I decided that, as I'm the one on the radio, yes. I'm not going to sell the legs version. Right. I'm in the west selling the cultural hero of Rod Stewart. Absolutely. So this is... Rod's version, of course, a massive hit, but here is the original by the Sutherland Brothers. On and... Ireland, a single, no less. A single, nice. No... Oh, so delight to speak to you, Julian. See you on one of those shows. Cats, it's great to see you. I'm really delighted, right, that you like the album so much, because sometimes I sit indoors in the middle of nowhere... <laughs> and um, it's good to know that I'm not just a sociopathic loon. No, you're very much not just a sociopathic loon. You are. And I'm you coming are bits out. of that as well, which you is are. nice. Which yeah. is, yeah. You actually are the embodiment of that overused and wrongly used term, national treasure. So, Thank uh, you. There Gentlemen, you go. great to speak to you. I'd love to join in Albany and Albany. Uh, uh, see you soon. See you soon. See you soon. Bye-bye.